Hong Kong Chief Executive Kerry Lam has dismissed suggestions that police are suppressing press freedom and screening journalists. A new police policy only recognizes journalists from media outlets registered with the government. However, organizations that have been refused registration have vowed to continue reporting on the streets. Roland Lim has more. Bruce Lam is an online journalist and commentator who works for the Barry Evening Post. It runs a live political talk show every evening on its web portal, BarryMarTV.com. His media company isn't recognized by the police, and the change in policy will only make his life harder when reporting from the streets. Many times, uh, even I'm doing my, my, my life, and then they will ask, uh, stop here. And then they will take your uh, to, to information. And even one time, I, I, as I remember, it's outside uh, the Poly University. I think it's the 17th of November. And then many of us, many of the reporters, they catch us and send us to the police station and spend more than 30 hours or even 48 hours inside the police station. They say, hmm. They have checked our, our uh, list. They say, ah, this, uh, this, uh, this media are not recognized by the government. However, there's no any law that any media should be recognized by the government. Previously, the definition of a journalist would have been anyone with credentials from a media organization, local or foreign, as well as membership to two local press unions the Hong Kong Journalists Association and the Hong Kong Press Photographers Association. Press cards from both these unions are no longer recognized. Now the new policy means that if you're a reporter whose credentials aren't recognized, well then if it's a controlled event organized by the police or press conferences, you won't be granted access. In a public area where there is a police cordon, you also won't be allowed in. But say it's a mass protest in a public area, well then, unregistered reporters can still report from the ground, although police aren't obligated to treat them as reporters. The Hong Kong police has defended its decision, saying that it's long overdue because it was becoming increasingly difficult for officers to identify who are journalists during public events. During the anti-government protests last year, police say they've netted at least 13 fake press cards along with a bogus press vest carrying the logo of a TV station. And during a protest at a shopping mall in Yunlong, there were fewer than 10 protesters while more than 150 journalists turned up. Meanwhile, Chief Executive Carrie Lam has defended the new approach, which requires registration under the Government News and Media Information Service, also known as GNMIS. Ya 傳媒在這個系統裏面 But an alliance of some 70 media outlets which have fallen shy of the government's requirement have vowed to continue reporting despite the new policy in place. The Hong Kong Journalists Association is also currently consulting legal counsel to see if there's sufficient grounds to file a judicial review. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.